we're about to open up Fanatic's first trading card set. And what's inside this box may be symbolic about the future of sports cards. It's Zero Cool V Friends Series 1. Let's open it now. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me and my team as we help you profit from the hobby we all love. Hello, sports card investors, and welcome to a very special episode because we are about to open up this. And this is going to tell us a lot about the future of sports cards because this is Fanatic's first production of trading cards ever. And they did it under a new brand they called Zero Cool. They formed Zero Cool to create cultural trading cards, trading cards for artists and musicians and influencers. And the first person Zero Cool teamed up with was Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, the well-known business and entrepreneurship influencer and sports card collector and investor. Now, Gary V has his own series of NFTs that have become very popular called V Friends. And this set of trading cards takes those designs from Gary V's NFTs, hand-drawn characters, which Gary V uses to teach lessons in his business videos, and they've turned those characters from the NFTs into trading cards. These went on sale last week on Zero Cool's website by a blind Dutch auction. And that is extremely important because a blind Dutch auction, in my opinion, is the most fair way to sell trading cards. It was something that Josh Luber did with StockX a couple of years ago. And it's something that you're gonna see a lot more of going forward when Fanatics releases new sets of sports cards. Now, if you're curious how a blind Dutch auction works and what the future of buying sports card releases is gonna look like, then join me for a special live conversation with Josh Luber on the Sports Card Investor Instagram channel, which is gonna take place this Tuesday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm gonna have Josh on. We're gonna talk all about this. And we're also gonna give some of these cards away live during that broadcast. So join live on the Sports Card Investor Instagram at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. But what you need to know now is that there were only 800 of these boxes that went for sale to the general public. And of those 800 that went for sale, over 22,000 bids came in on these boxes. The winning strike price was $2,150. So if you bid $2,150 or more, then you were one of the 800 that won one of these boxes at the cost of $2,150. Is that a good investment? To be quite honest, I thought they were gonna sell for more. Being the fact that it was Fanatic's first trading card venture and Gary V's first V Friends set, and there's only 800 of these being sold to the general public. Personally, I do think that there's a lot of upside potential with these boxes. But I'm not holding on to this one for upside potential. I'm opening it right now so we can take a look at what's inside. Now, this is a special care package that was sent to us by Josh Luber and Gary Vee and the team at Zero Cool. So this is, this is gonna look a little different than those who purchased the box via the Dutch auction. We're gonna take a first look inside here. All right, this is pretty cool. You guys are seeing this fresh as I am seeing this. So first of all, we've got a, looks like a hand-signed Gary V note. Uh, pretty cool there, awesome. A garbage file, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's creative. It looks like they actually even sent me a disk drive, <laughs> which, which is a good point because if they actually want me to see what is on this, I certainly don't have a floppy disk drive anymore, but now it looks like I've got a floppy disk drive. That's wild. I honestly didn't even know it was possible to get floppy disks or put anything on floppy disks anymore. 
That's pretty cool. There you go. You get a little bit of culture right there, apparently. Awesome. Okay, got a zero cool hat. There you go. Very nice. Got to toss that on. It's a little, little tight. There we go. There we go. Now I'm, now I'm zero cool official. Here we go. What else we got in here? All right, we got a zero cool shirt. All right, I like it. This is cool. Thank you very much to the Zero Cool team. Oh my God, a pack of G.I. Joe cards. A pack of G.I. Joe cards. Wow, 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 G.I. Joe. All right, cool, I like it, I like it. Hopefully this thing is not stuffed with G.I. Joe cards, but we are about to find out. Okay, so this is the box. This is the box that 800 people bought for $2,150 each. Now I believe there are eight cards inside of this. I'm really curious to see what this looks like. Now my first impressions here of the packaging is this looks similar to maybe the packaging for like a Flawless. This feels like a high-end sports card product. It's uh, the packaging substantial. It's a nice clean design. You can see the um, silver foil on the white box. The box itself is a wood box. Nice quality box, and kind of a good unboxing experience here. So that's, that's nice to feel and nice to see. I like that. All right, here we go. Okay, now, now, slipped out of the little holder there. That might've been my fault for jostling this around, but that's a little, we'll, we'll, we'll give this feedback to Fanatics, you see, for future trading card releases. This is, uh, this is the things they, they're testing here to make sure they're getting it right for future sports card releases. And here's the box. So there's the box. So again, I think we have eight cards. Um, some of these are gonna be numbered. The biggest hit card from what I understand is if you get a signed Gary V sketch card, that's gonna be your big hit card. Um, those are like one of one uh, cards where he actually like drew out one of the characters on his own. So I don't know if we're gonna get one of those or not. I hope we do. These would be interesting to see how these grade. I may send a couple of these off for grading just to experiment and let you guys know how these come back from a graded standpoint as well to see what that quality looks like in accordance with PSA. Okay, so the first card is a base card, a non-numbered base card, and that is Big Game Bandicoot. Big Game Bandicoot is your first card. Oh, I left one at the bottom of the box here too. Can't be doing that, hold on. Gotta grab the last card out of the box here. All right. All right, so there's our big game Bandicoot card. All right, so these are, these are nice quality cards. Um, it's got a nice silver foil going around the edges. It's got some thickness to it. It's, uh, prob it's kind of the, the thickness of, of a base card from a, I don't know, it's somewhere maybe it's like a, it's a little maybe like a hundred point or so card. It kind of feels like an origins base card or something of that nature. Um, all right, Flex and Fox is our second one. Now I believe the numbering on these is on the front. So if we end up with a numbered card, I believe that would be on the front of the card if it is a numbered card. So Flex and Fox, there you go. Generous Gerbil is our third card. So there you go, there's Generous Gerbil. There's what the backs look like. So it talks about how each of these are, there's 268 cards to collect and each card is a physical representation of the original hand-drawn digital collectible. So there you go. <laughs> All right, we, well, in, 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 uh, to, to keep this kid friendly, I won't give the full name of this card, but it, it is called the Monday Mole card, the Monday Mole. So there you go. All right, so now we're getting into some bigger hit cards. These are, um, these are rare cards. So this one is a gold foil card. It is numbered six of eight. You can see the numbering right there in the upper left of the card. And it says rare. And you can tell this is kind of like a gold type foil or a copper foil. This is insightful Irish Terrier, number six of eight. So there you go. Cool. And then I have a self-aware hair, number seven of eight. Self-aware hair, number to eight. There you go, another hit card, seven of eight. All right, little, little, little issue on this one. Got a little bit of a, a, a 
issue coming out of the box there. Actually, on a couple of these, we got a little bit of an issue coming out of the box where you can see a little bit of a um, ding in the bottom corner of the card on a couple of these, the bottom line of the card. So, you know, this is, again, this is their first attempt at this, so it's good for them to get any bugs out of the system. And then I'm sure they'll, you know, be making the sports cards uh, even, even better quality going forward. So this is the dedicated Dragonfly, very rare, number to five. So that's, a, that's definitely a hit card. Number to five, dedicated Dragonfly. And then we have a Brave Bison, number to five, as well. Number two of five, Brave Bison. By the way, it's gonna be really interesting to see what the secondary market does on these cards. And at the moment, at the moment, these cards are not in market movers. However, we may be adding some of these cards into market movers because one of our visions with market movers is to, be, is to allow you to be able to track all kinds of cards. And it's clear that card collecting is going way beyond sports cards and trading card games in the future, especially with Zero Cool and these types of sets they're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be adding things like this into market movers in the future. We've already added over 15,000 Marvel cards into market movers. So these V-Friends cards seem like they would be a good addition as well. If you wanna check out market movers, go to sportscardinvestor.com and click on market movers in the main menu bar. And we got a one of one coming up, everybody. We got a one of one card. This is gonna be, I guess, probably the big hit card of the box. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is a one of one. When you live for their validation, you aren't living. All right, there you go. It is a bubble gum, one of one. When you live for their validation, you aren't living. A Gary V one of one card. Very cool. So there you go. This one, now this one looks crisp. I don't see any edge issues on this one like I saw on a few of the others. So maybe this one goes off for grading, who knows? I'll probably send a couple of, couple of them off to PSA just to see what happens. Um, or one of the other grading companies just to see what the quality looks like on those. Uh, cool, all right, so there's a one of one. And it looks like, oh, maybe these are 10 cards because it looks like we're, we're at more than eight right now. We're back to base cards. We've got a Kindred Kangaroo base card. And we have a Legendary Lemur. I know that's one of his popular characters, the Legendary Lemur. We've got the Legendary Lemur base card. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gary V's V Friends Series 1 produced by Zero Cool. Um, overall, I would say that the card designs are nice. They're very clean. The foil on the cards is very well done. I see no issues with the foil at all. The foil looks like it was a very good application of foil. Uh, actually, 11 cards it looks like we got in this box. So maybe that's typical of, of what, you, what you can expect. Um, and, uh, you know, other than a couple of uh, issues on the edges, overall, I think it's a really well done, well put together set from a quality standpoint. I would, be, I would be pretty happy if this is representative of sports card quality in the future. And I'm sure this is something that they're gonna continue to evolve and make better. And it's something that we're gonna track. Cultural cards. We're gonna see how these do on the secondary market. We're gonna, we're gonna keep a close eye on that and, and how both the sealed boxes progress as well as the individual cards. I'm excited to see, who knows, maybe someday in the future we even need a top five of cultural cards. Maybe that is the future. I don't know, what do you guys think? What did you guys think of this set? What do you think of what Zero Cool is trying to do? Let me know in the YouTube comments. I would love to know your opinion. And if you wanna win some of these cards, then join me live on the Sports Card Investor Instagram with Josh Luber on the Sports Card Investor Instagram at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday night. We're gonna be talking about the future of sports cards, blind Dutch auctions, what this set represents, and what we can expect to see in the future from Fanatics. And we're giving some of these cards away. Sports Card Investor Instagram, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit me in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and give me a like if you liked this episode. Check out Market Movers. Go to sportscardinvestor.com. Click on Market Movers in the main menu bar. We'll see you soon with our next episode. Take care.